Covering Southern Palm Beach County, rescue crews are beginning training in Boynton Beach for emergencies following the tragic death of a teenager. Arkeo Califano talked with those rescue crews. Just days after a teenager sadly passed away in a drowning near Gulf Stream Park in Boynton Beach, rescue crews are out here doing real-time training exercises. On Sunday, family members told Boynton Beach firefighters a teenager was swept away by a strong current. Fire rescue officials, a Gulfstream police officer and lifeguards who were training nearby went into the water and were able to get a child and his mother out. Sadly, we have now learned a teenager Preston Smith of Lake Worth passed away. Stephen Permenter was one of the lifeguards involved in the rescue and was even injured during the process. He highlighted the difficulty behind the entire operation. There's a lot that happened. Obviously the winds, uh, they'll pick up and that east wind will create the high surf that we had that day. So it was four to six foot, um, which also caused the rip currents, which also caused the low visibility. Today at Ocean Park in Boynton Beach, crews were in the water making sure they are prepared for the next time a situation like that happens. Crews simulated a number of rescue operations using boats, divers, and utilizing a grid system as a search technique. The drill would consist of a Kodak, a missing swimmer. They'll put a buoy in the water last place seen. They'll do a grid pattern on the area and overlap until the search and recovery is hopefully successfully transpires. Ultimately, rescue crews tell me the best thing you can do when swimming in the ocean is always swim at a lifeguarded beach. In Boynton Beach, Caleb Califano, WPDF 25 News.